Hey church, I am wanting to update you on the coronavirus situation and how we are responding as a church to love each other and love our city well. As you know, there have been several cases of people being infected with coronavirus in our own city, and those cases are growing. And so out of compassion for each other and the people that we interact with every day in the city that we know and love and want to serve, we are going to be suspending our Sunday services for at least the next two weeks. So this Sunday, March 15th, and next Next Sunday, March 22nd, we are for sure not going to be gathering on Sunday morning. We aren't doing this out of fear. We want to do this out of love for each other in our city. Uh, as you have probably heard and seen, uh, the way that the coronavirus spreads mostly is by people being together. So we want to do our part by joining with other people in our city and even what is happening around the world on such a large scale by saying, if we don't have to get together, then let's try to reduce those gatherings so that we can have help slow and do help do our part to slow the spread of this virus. So by us not getting together on Sundays, the good news is that doesn't mean that we are putting following on following God on hold. Uh, this can be the church's greatest hour, not just to love God and love each other as the church, but to love the world around us. We are going to be working on resources as a staff that we are going to be continuing to put out so that we can all continue growing in God together. We believe that God has great things for us as a community, but that also we're going to have the opportunity to love our city well in this time through prayer, and also that this is going to create opportunities for us to love and serve people who are in need. So I want to encourage us to make sure that we're looking forward with faith, that we're praying in faith that, that God would stop the spread of this virus. We're praying in faith that this would be an opportunity for the gospel to be shared to the world. And we're praying in faith that this would be a time of encounter with the loving, living God, not just for us, but for our city. Just like we talk about so frequently in our church, we even talked about this this last Sunday, you know, church isn't all completely made up of what happens on Sunday morning. For us, we say we have five circles of church and our corporate gatherings are just one of those circles. We still have such important things that are rhythms in our life of personal devotion to Jesus, making disciples, getting together house to house and living our life on mission. We still have the opportunity to do all of those things. Uh, we are gonna be nailing down details as things continue to develop as far as what we are gonna to be communicating about life groups and the rhythms of those gatherings, um, whether we would encourage you to be getting together on Sunday mornings to watch messages that we put out or that you continue gathering together through the week. Um, and then obviously, of course, with all of those things, we really encourage you to continue taking the normal precautions as far as if you're sick, you know, stay home and all of that sort of good stuff. So we don't have all the details nailed down, but we do know that we're going to be suspending services for at least the next two weeks. Please uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned on social media, uh, on your email, as we continue to figure out what exactly we're going to be doing over the next few weeks and the decisions that are going to be made about uh, continuing or re picking up services again or continuing to suspend them. All of those things are kind of in development and we can't make those decisions right now. So we do promise that we're still going to be doing uh, lots of things with the media and the technology that we have to make sure that we are still hearing from God together as a community and loving the world around us. And you can also be expecting that we are going to be communicating about opportunities to be praying, uh, not just for uh, patients who have coronavirus and the stop of the spread, but praying that this would serve as, an, as a time of awakening and revival in our city and our nation and the nations of the earth. To wrap it up, I just want to say again that this is all part of an action of compassion to the people around us. We don't want to just be responding in fear, but we want to be proactive with compassion by making sure we are playing our small part to slow the spread of this and love the people around us. Be on the lookout, not just for what we are doing as a church, but let's all keep our eyes open to see and understand, Lord, what avenues are you opening up for us as the church to love the people around us and to love our city? And I want to encourage you personally Personally. Make sure you're keeping your eyes open for the people in your life that God is opening up an avenue for you to step in into somebody's time of need with the presence of God, with the love of God. This is going to be a great hour for us as a community. We believe God has great things in store and we are honored to be the church in this time to step in, to pray for the world that we live in and to believe that God is doing great things. I hope you have an incredible day. If you have any questions, please reach out and let us know. We look forward to doing this journey with you.